Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the next episode of the Pack and Play series. And of course if you guys want to see more drop a like in the video and let me know down below we are definitely getting to the point of Madden now where there's not going to be a whole lot of content so if you guys would want me to push out more Pack and Play drop a like on the video now also i do want to give a shout out to hoff 316 for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn that notification bell on and comment down below noti gang and if you haven't seen my video from earlier today i opened up packs i did my free ul pack and also i'm giving away a golden ticket player so go check that video out if you want to know how to actually enter for that golden ticket check that video out after you're done watching this of course by the way let me know down below if you guys have done this if you didn't know i actually do have a playlist on the channel for pack and play how many of you guys have just been bored and rewatched all the episodes because i've been getting tweeted a lot of people doing that and i think that is awesome because i used to do the same thing and watch other madden youtubers and watch their playlist stuff before i even started doing youtube so to me i think that's just awesome but we do have the pack and play series for today now, also, I do need you guys to go down below to the comment section and leave me two challenges to do in the next episode. So, the first challenge I'm going to be doing is I can't slide for a quarter, okay? That's, that's going to be kind of tough to do because, honestly, every time I take open my homes, I always try to make sure that I slide because otherwise I'm going to fumble. So, we may just be confined to the pocket for an entire quarter. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. The second challenge was actually commented by another Madden YouTuber, Mike Max. So, shout out to you, Mike. Uh, but he actually left a comment saying... That what we should do is kind of a weird challenge. It's nothing I've ever done before. It's one that's going to go for the entire game, basically. It's called the Call Your Shot Challenge, I believe is what he called it. So before I hike the ball, if I am passing the ball, I can choose to do it whatever play I want. If I don't want to do it, I play. I don't have to. But I can call who I'm going to throw to. So if I think I'm going to throw to Calvin Johnson on that play, I'm going to say before I actually hike the snap, this ball is going to Calvin Johnson. If I complete the pass to Calvin, I get a pack. That's a pretty good challenge. Uh, and if I don't complete the pass, I lose a pack. So we have got a pretty good chance here at making a lot, a lot of packs. Like, we could get a lot of packs for today's episode. So you may see a whole lot of drags. <laughs> Simple as that. But those are the challenges for today. Comment down below two challenges. The top two like comments are the ones I will do in the next episode. And I'd say I really, really like that one by Mike because that gives us a big, big chance of getting a lot of packs. So with that being said... Let's get into it. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is going to be my top three, of course, with Mahomes, Eric, and DeAndre Hopkins to the top three. So let's see what we can do out here on the defensive side of things. Now, when it comes to upgrades on the team... I think the only players I can really get upgrades for that I actually have power-ups on would be Lawrence Taylor, and I think that Dion is not maxed out as Dion could have a pick. By the way, in the next episode, it is episode 20, so as you guys already know, every 10 episodes we do spin a wheel, as that's going to be an easy user pick there with Devin Bush, and I tried to pick six, but we just kept running in place. But as I was saying, every 10 episodes we do spin a wheel, so because next episode is episode 20, comment down below and leave me some things you guys want me to add onto the wheel so whatever you guys want to see on there usually do something like you know random series redux player uh five packs go check out episode 10 if you want to see what i usually put on there and leave me something you guys want to see down below so we do have one pack already for the user pick and by the way uh man this is actually a lot tougher than i thought i'm gonna throw this ball to calvin johnson right so look out for b here i'm looking for i know he's right there with his user and i still had to throw the ball because i said i was gonna throw to him well, I can see now how this challenge might come back to not really play in our favor there, as unfortunately there we did throw a pick, but LT was coming in for the sack. So let me try to be a little bit smarter about it. Either way, it was going to be minus one pack if I threw it to him or if I didn't, and I knew it was going to be a pick, but I thought maybe we'd get like some crazy animation. So let's definitely try to work on that and not do something stupid again, but you can see he does have the ball at the 48-yard line now. I'm watching out for this drag. I'm going to send my spy in, which is Pepper and 
come on, Reed. You, you gotta make a play on the ball. This guy is honestly scrambling so much, it's hard to keep him in the pocket when I do have, you know, Julius Peppers and everyone, but they're not like powered up Peppers, not crazy speed as we get a sack from LT. Lawrence Taylor coming in there for the sack is exactly what we need to see as he's going down the seams here and he dropped that pass. So we get one sack there from Lawrence Taylor. Let's see if we can get a second one here as we actually do. So that's a pack. Oh, that's a dot. That is a dot down the field to Naheem Hines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just messed his name up. Naheem Hines, I think is his name. But, and I also just realized this as well, Lawrence Taylor can't get upgraded. So... Yeah, unfortunately, it's only Deion Sanders can get upgraded, and I should have said I was gonna call, I was gonna throw to Hines before I actually snapped that ball there. I didn't have enough time to say anything. I just completely forgot about the challenge. But here, let's see who's gonna get open. I think we have DeAndre Hopkins open down the field for the TD, and I forgot to say I was gonna throw to Hopkins there again. So we are now up to two total packs. Although I didn't say that we were gonna throw to him there, it still counts as the TD. But we would have got two total packs there if I would have just said we were going to throw to him as he's going down the field here. Patrick Peterson can't make it there in time. So he's down now at the one yard line. See what he's going to go to. It looks like he's going to take off. And of course, he just scrambles in with Mahomes. So we have two total packs right now. And I'm going to let you guys know I'm throwing to Eric Dickerson before I even snap the ball. Still going to go to him here. So we do get a pack for that play. Although we really didn't do much with it. It's honestly a little bit more challenging than you would expect. But I'm going to go to Calvin Johnson over here on the right side. And by the way, we have not slid one single time because I haven't taken off my homes. Another pack. And by the way, because we didn't slide that entire first quarter, we now got an additional pack. So we are up to five packs. And I think I'm going to throw to Calvin Johnson here. So look out for Calvin. He's going to be the B receiver. And I did get the ball to him there again. Calvin turned up the field. Another pack there. We are now up to six total packs. We're just racking in the packs here. And again, I'm probably looking to go to Calvin Johnson. So look out for B. If he's going to let me do this, I will literally throw to Calvin every single play. So we've got seven total packs here. And I'm either looking to go to Calvin Johnson or Eric Dickerson. But I have to choose one before the snap. So I'm going to say Eric Dickerson. Look out for ED. And it looks like he's going to be usering on it. We can definitely fit that into Dickerson here. Pick up that first down and juke out Pat Tillman. Picking up a pack. So we are now up to eight total packs, and we may even end this game off with like 20 packs or so. Uh, but again, Calvin Johnson, the B receiver. I mean, he's literally just usering on Darius Leonard. He's getting no additional pass rush out of it, and he's just letting me throw to whoever I want. So on this play, I'm looking to go to DeAndre Hopkins. He's going to be the X receiver. I'm honestly not too sure if he's going to get open here. But let's see if we ran him out the field. DeAndre Hopkins, great catch there. No terrible spin move, but another pack. So we are now up to 10 total packs here. And honestly, I don't think I want to call who I'm going to throw to here because I don't know who I'm actually going to throw to. So I'm not going to call it for this play. So if we get a TD, we only get one pack here, but I think it's probably going to be right bumper, which it looks like he's going to be open back in the end zone. Paris Campbell for the TD. So we are now to 11 total packs. And again, my opponent just continues to come on this five wide offense as that might be another pick for me and actually just a great catch. So we are now to 11 total packs. And you guys can see my opponent is now down at the 18 yard line. And that was honestly just a great play call because I all out blitzed him. Didn't expect the running back to release. So 45 seconds left here. I'm probably going to throw to Eric Dickerson. So I'm going to call it that I'm going to throw to Dickerson here out of the backfield, which I think we might be able to fit it in. Thank you for catching that. And I'm going to go back to the same exact play because I think he just ran cover two. So this time I'm going to say Calvin Johnson will be my target deep down the field, which I think we might be able to get the ball to him. Calvin coming down with the catch. And of course he fumbled. Nonetheless, though, we got the pass to him, so we still do get the pack there, but please someone tackle Pat Tillman. So if my numbers are correct, I believe we've got 13 total packs, and you guys can see my opponent now is running the ball, and I swear if he gets it for a TD. So we've got 13 total packs, third and 17 coming up. I'm going to say I'm throwing to Calvin, and hopefully I just said that in time before I got the snap off, but I'm still going to throw to Calvin Johnson. Please get intercepted by Pat Tillman. Yikes, man absolutely yikes not only a yikes but a big yikes as he gets a pick six and we lose a pack so now we're down to 12 total packs but a big issue i'm having with this challenge is that if i don't throw to the receiver i said i'm gonna throw to well we lose the pack anyway so i basically have to throw the ball as cup's gonna be open for that first down so we've only got 12 packs we definitely need to turn it up here so i'm gonna say i'm throwing to calvin johnson again you guys already know it's the b receiver on this play and he leaves him open every single time 
Honestly, you might just catch me running this play every single time now. But once again, Calvin Johnson, we have 13 packs. Let's see if we can make it 14, throw into the B receiver. And again, Calvin Johnson, another catch. So we don't really have a lot of receivers in here. We literally have got a Hines in at wide receiver because my receivers are so tired. I'm looking for Curtis Samuel over here, and I have to throw the ball, but it's probably going to be incomplete. So just like that, back down to 13 packs, unfortunately. But here, I'm going to be looking for Calvin Johnson we're going for the TD. Calvin Johnson is the X receiver, so look out for him down the field. I think we've got him. Calvin for the TD. That's two packs. So guys, we've got 15 total packs now, so we are just really racking up the packs this game. As I'm going to watch out under, underneath here, nothing's really going to be open. He's going to try to take off, and that's another sack. So the fourth quarter is just in, and we badly need a stop here. He's up by three points. So I'm going to be watching out for this, and oh, that was a pump fake, but he definitely should have thrown it. He still gets the catch. We badly need a stop right here if we want to win this game. He's down in the one-yard line. He's going to be running the ball here, and we stuffed him. Come on, defense. Third and goal coming up. Do not let him run in for a TD. Don't let him in. It looks like he's going to be trying to pass the ball. I'm all over it. And he goes there. Deion Sanders with the interception. That's a huge pick. Guys, we've got 16 total packs now. We just need to work our way down the field. I'm looking for Calvin Johnson, though. Okay, I'm going to call that I'm throwing to B on this play. And I think Calvin's going to be open down the field. Good catch, Calvin. I'm really trying to end this game with at least 20 packs. So we've got 17. I'm throwing to Calvin Johnson on this play. So look out for B. And you guys can see he's trying to use or cover him, but I'm still going to throw it, and he dropped it. So we've got 16 total packs, guys, and I'm really just hoping that he runs cover two here. I'm, I'm going to be looking to go to Calvin Johnson. Hopefully, Calvin can get open down the field. Just show off that speed, Calvin. Show off the speed. Get an aggressive catch. Dang it. So we are now down to 15 total packs because we haven't been able to actually haul his catch in here recently. <sighs> We need this first down. Please, someone get open down the field. I literally do not see anyone open. I'm going to need someone to come back to the ball. Right bumper. That was probably the worst person I could have potentially thrown to. Like on that entire play, that was probably the worst read that I could have made. Yes. Yes. Get us the ball. Yes. Jamal Adams with the recovery. Can't even explain how big of a play that was, guys. We have got 16 packs now. As on second down here with a minute left, I don't even know if I really want to call who I'm throwing to on this play. I'm throwing to Hopkins, okay? I'm throwing to DeAndre Hopkins. It's going to be the A receiver if he gets open across the field, and I just couldn't get the ball off. So unfortunately, we didn't get the ball there, so that is going to be only 15 packs for us now. I didn't call it before the play, but I was looking to go to B here. Now I'm going to have to reroute X. Go up the field, DeAndre Hopkins. I'm just going to have to take off with Mahomes here. Think of a big gain. All right, fourth down and six here. I'm not going to call any more people who I'm going to throw to because I don't want to have to force myself into throwing to anyone here. But Calvin Johnson should be able to turn up the field. They gave me that animation. Instead of giving me a quick and easy animation to catch the ball, turn up the field, they gave me an animation where I have to basically just go in a straight line as I catch the ball for like a second and a half. Looks like, guys, we are probably going to lose this game unless he somehow throws a pick six or I get a scoop and score or something. And it looks like he's probably going to throw that down the field there to Gale Sayers. It's going to be the game. So that was an interesting episode, to say the least. Did the challenges hurt us? Most definitely, that challenge hurt us a bit because it basically forced me to throw someone because I didn't want to lose the pack without actually attempting to get the ball to them. So we threw a couple picks that I shouldn't have and... Some incomplete pass, unfortunately, but we still came out of the episode with 15 packs, which we probably would not have got without the challenge. So an L for a lot more packs. I think I'll take a lot more packs in the long run. It will help us out. So let's go ahead and get these 15 get a gold player packs. But man, that loss sucks. That loss definitely sucks there. I feel like we definitely should have came in with a win in that game. Just unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. So let's get into three game changer packs we do have 15 total packs we're gonna do three game changers here as getting 84 83 86 jesse bates 86 96 86 overall lake and thomas so i don't think i can actually use any of those guys but it's gonna help when it comes to the training point aspect of things so not too bad get into these final two game changer packs though we get 88 tie log Again, nobody we can really use out of this pack, I don't think. And it looks like no, unfortunately. Final game changer pack here. Let me get a golden ticket. Let me get a golden ticket or an ultimate legend LTD. Ultimate legend 89 Herman Moore. Okay. And we also get an 83 and an 83. So unfortunately, the three game changers 
didn't really help out the team however we do still have 15 get to go player packs and also we can quicks all this stuff for training so we we'll have a decent amount of training 81 coin quick sell greg olsen so that's 26,000 coins we get to use i'm trying to think what packs that store like 25k and i don't think there's any so more than likely we're just gonna have to go in and get five more get to go player packs but five more packs is five more packs cannot complain about that next get a gold though we get a most feared nothing good there i'll just skip right through it it's not going to be a big animation team of the week 80 overall anthony harris i'll take any training though man any training at all give me all the elites the 81s the 80s the 82s i don't care it's better than pulling a 75 overall gold card as get 81 overall marshawn Lattimore right there i'm not even sure how much training we're actually going to, be able to get for this episode but hopefully a decent amount maybe we'll be able to get a 97 overall team mvp if we can get a really really good pull here because i don't think there's any way we're even close to getting that many right now uh so you have a 79 overall ramon foster next pack oh man another gold back-to-back -back goals that is not good we have four more get a golds and then we have twenty six thousand coins to spend so i guess we can do like two get a player packs or something uh and then we'll do maybe five get a go player or five get a go player packs and two get a player i'm pretty sure the get a player or 500 coins if i remember correctly as you get yourself a 79 overall adam butler right there next pack elite 83 82 overall julian edelman so we got 26k so we're gonna have to do two get a player packs and then we also are going to buy five more get a gold player packs as you get a 64 overall right there one more get a player pack i, I can't believe i'm doing get a player packs for pack and play we get yourself an elite 78 overall and isabel okay i thought it was going to be an elite zero chill there unfortunately just a gold but we have five final get a gold player packs to get into give me some glitchy we get a team of the week 79 that is super glitchy thank you very much ea next get a gold player pack here we get another gold 77 overall shadobi awuzie please legend piece 83 84 lt okay i'll take any sort of decent decent training ea give me some good we get an 80 and i think this is the final get a gold player pack and we're gonna quick sell everything see how much training we have we get 79 drew lock so quick selling everything we just pulled guys we get 19,761 training we do have 21,000 training points so i guess what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the theme diamond 2 set piece because i remember this pack used to be glitchy i'm gonna do some of these packs if we get anything good i'll show you as yikes in that first one with an 87 overall pull actually that was 1860 training so i actually made training there oh 91 rashawn melvin that's a good pull we don't need him for the team but again just making us some more training very next pack is 88 overall jarvis landry so i've been sitting here opening up this pack for a while we have managed to make a little bit of training as get another 90 overall right there with mark ingram but the odds of us making enough training to get that 97 overall theme builder probably not that great so we'll just do a couple more packs here just to see if we can get lucky maybe pull like another flashback or someone that i could potentially actually use in the team is getting 83 overall right there but we got a decent amount of training points to head into the next episode and as i already said next episode is episode 10 so i need you guys to comment down below and leave me something that you guys want to see on the wheel because or episode 20 actually uh, i'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel before we get into you know anything the gameplay or whatever because there is some things that i'd like to put on there like steal opponents top three player and we can choose like one of their players in their top three and we can get that player on our team as these packs have really really just turned awful uh, as we actually made a little bit of profit there but i didn't think we would final theme diamond two set piece pack here though we ended off with the base elite 87 luke Eakley. that's actually a, a pretty dang solid one so let's end off with one more final pack here but leave me down below what you guys would like to see me add onto the wheel and with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below but i hope you guys enjoy the video i'll see you guys next time